Michael Paris right here and Willie Osterman join me now. You like that? I'm using You're the here. flashlights that you <laughs> to brought. You too. It's a little prop. Yep. We're talking about the Big Shot, RIT's Big Shot. Now this event actually, or this photo, started back in 1987 and it has grown significantly since then. Talk about the history of it. Well, uh, you know, we were looking for ways to do something exciting and fun with students. You know, you're teaching and you're racking your brain with how to get them to want to be involved with an active type of an event. And so we came up with this idea of painting with light. And it was part of the biomedical program in its very first years. And so we approached the Highland Hospital and they were like, that would be great, except we have visiting hours and there's patients. And so how should we proceed? So after visiting hours concluded, that's where we started. And uh, it's been going since 1987. In the very first photo photo you took had how many people in it? Uh, about 37 people arrived that wintry night. And last year you estimate about 700 people were involved. Is that what you told me? If not more. Wow. So that's got to be pretty exciting for you folks. And then tomorrow you're hoping for an even larger turnout. Tell us about tomorrow's um, photo. Well, it's hard to tell how many people are going to show. That's why we like the whole community aspect of it. We've got a couple bus loads coming from RIT with about 200 students and we have a lot of the community that are regulars that come every year to join in with it. Families come as well. So. And, and it's at Seabreeze. At Seabreeze. And what will people find when they show up? What should they bring? What should they wear? Dark clothing, the right? The thing, best thing is to bring a flashlight or yeah. a flash, um, wear dark clothing, nothing reflective, and come in. And as soon as they come in, we have people there that will spread them around and tell them what to do. We'll have one little meeting with everybody and then send everybody out to their different zones. We have 16 different zones set up for where we need people flashing. Wow. All right. And so... Tell us um, what kind of people have been involved with this for a long time. You said you have some regulars. Some people, I, I meet people and they say I've come every year. So, and some kids that came as infants are now carrying their own flashes and, and lighting that up as well. So it, it, what's really nice about it is the community event. It brings people from all different parts of the community in to Yeah, it brings to, them together. To How'd you pick Seabreeze? Just a, oh. a we were looking for something that was fun. You know, yeah. we've done a lot of, of the landmarks in Rochester, and we've done a lot of museums. And the park was opened in 1879, and so it just seemed like it was a perfect, natural way to have a fun photograph of a community-based event. All right, and so tomorrow night's big shot is at Seabreeze Amusement Park. Gates open at 8 o'clock. Photograph takes place at 9. Mm -hmm. That's what you're hoping for, right? And for more information, go to whuc.com and click on web links.